Maybe just a small game around the world. People are interested in it. It's El Clasico. Needs no introduction. Barcelona plus 150. Real Madrid plus 176. Real Madrid, draw no bet, plus 103. Real Madrid to score twice, plus 108. Love that. Barcelona, pick them, minus 123. The big thing you must know here, don't be lazy, is that Barcelona are not playing at the Camp Nou. So, yes, it's a kind of home game on paper, but it's not at the Camp Nou. So the advantage has been sort of dissolved a little bit and it maybe pushes towards the visitors. Oaks, Real Madrid, plus 176. Yeah, I think you guys remember me saying this a couple of weeks back. If I see Madrid at a draw no bet and it's a plus number, I take it immediately. Um, that's the smart play. You guys watching who aren't mad rabid fans like I am, I'm wearing the kit, I'm wearing the hat, I got the flag behind me. I'm not taking draw no bet. I'm taking the money line. The smart handicapper play, take the draw no bet. Um, listen, I'm not going to throw a bunch of dumb nerd stats at you here. Um, just use your eye test. And my eye test tells me that Madrid's playing better football than Barcelona. They're playing better in Champions League. They're playing better in La Liga. And they're just overall playing better football. It looks like they're a more complete team. They have healthier guys and more pieces available to them than Barcelona does. Um, the only two games Madrid has had any issue have been with atrocious referees. So, listen, I don't want to get too deep into the weeds on that stuff. But, you know, when you have a ref stop a game because he told a player to stand up and then looks and sees Madrid scoring and then goes, no, I actually will drop the ball here that when the player didn't have a head injury, that's a problem. Uh, yeah. So, listen, Madrid, you got Vinny Jr., who is good for a goal, maybe an assist. I love Bellingham to score an assist. It's at plus 110. Madrid to score twice at plus 108 is a very bettable number. Um, I just I don't know who on Barcelona is going to stop the front three of Vinny, Bellingham, Rodrigo, and then if Jose Lu's available off the bench, that's a great piece. Betty Valverde is playing absolutely great football on the right wing, um, and I, I'll just kind of let go there because I could sit here and talk to you about Madrid all day if you wanted. Yeah, well, listen, replay it, replay it, and go and have a little look at the uh, the prop builder at betus.com because bookings. I've got maybe Rudiger picks up a book in. Romeo, obviously I know him from old. He was at Southampton. He used to get a book in in a warm-up. And now you're <laughs> asking him to track fleet-footed players like Bellingham. I see I see maybe four or five bookings here. So maybe go over there and have maybe three or four fun bets. Goal scorers. Rodrigo didn't score for 800 minutes. Then one goes in off his knee. Now he may well go on a run. Vinny Jr., he's going to be torturing them. I see Carvajal. He's good for a booking. There's so many different ways to cash in this game, Klaus. Listen, it's it's definitely going to be more than just betting, more than just making money. It's going to be, I hope it's going to be a good game to watch, especially because where both teams are standing currently. They're both at a very good place in La Liga. They're both top three. And the fact that they're both playing good football internationally as well, it, it should be a good Clasico. And and the one thing I've been, I've been telling a lot of people in the last couple of years, I've been covering La Liga, where I've been watching La Liga for, for, for a lot of years now, is that after the departure of, of Guardiola and, and Mourinho, especially after Messi and Ronaldo as well, the Clasico kind of went down. and went downhill because not a lot of people were watching it. it you couldn't find um, individual talent as much as you did before. Xavi, Iniesta, gone, Xavi alone, so Cristiano Ronaldo, et cetera, et cetera. And you had this new set of wave where youngsters came, not only for Real Madrid, but for Barcelona as well. I think now, this season, after a long, long time, I think we're finally going to have a classical where we have a lot of talent on both sides. We have Robert Lewandowski, we have Fede Valverde, as, as, as Oates was saying, even Jude Bellingham, which I'm betting he's going to score in this match. But so far, I have to look at the stats. And what do the stats tell me? They tell me that so far, Barcelona is undefeated. So far, they have not lost a match this season. So what makes me think that they're going to lose a match here against Real Madrid? When Real Madrid, the only tough, tough game they had was Atletico Madrid, and they lost. So... 
listen, I'm going with Barcelona on this one just because I think they have the advantage. I think they have the momentum. I think Xavi has finally given enough time to finally get enough confidence to to roll it through. And listen, you might not like Barcelona. You can say whatever they want, but Xavi against Real Madrid has a good record. Uh, not only domestically, but whenever they play here in the United States as well, Barcelona usually takes care of business. So hopefully it's, it's a good game. Friendlies Ho- right now, bro. Hey, I'm you've touched the nerve, Klaus. Oh, you've touched the nerve. I went to Miami. Hey, 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 hey! Quiet in the stalls. Quiet. I, I, <laughs> I, I'm saying I here in Miami. Barcelona took it in Las Vegas. Barcelona took it. So I'm just friendlies, man. Listen, friendlies. I hope I hope it's a great match. I do see Barcelona taking the three points. I do see both teams scoring for sure. Hopefully, we get Jude Bellingham to again. I said it not too long ago, and I'm going to keep saying it over and over, especially now that he's killing it. I think he's been the most influential player since Cristiano Ronaldo and Real Madrid, and I think he should prove it in a game like El Clasico. So hopefully, Barcelona takes the points, the three points, and it's a, a great game to enjoy and watch as well. I see no clean sheets. He's had to dig deep there, Oaks, and he he's had to <laughs> dig deep to find Barcelona winning a friendly in LA. Oh, he's had a cheap shot. You know what? He doesn't. You know what I saw? I'm, I'm a good judge of people. You know. He didn't believe a word of what he was saying. No, he, he did not believe a word of it. I'm going to live no clean sheets. I'm going with Real Madrid to win and both teams to score. I think that Rodrigo's going to score 800 minutes without a goal and then he scores a goal he had no clue about. I'm seeing that there's pace on both wins. I'm seeing, listen, the over three is at minus 105. This could be a proper El Clasico. Jude Bellingham, I hope, is the best player on the pitch because, for me, he's the best player in Europe at the moment. Uh, proper Rolls-Royce. Yeah. Give me all them Mbappes and Haalands. And Bellingham, Rodri, top two midfielders in the world at the moment. Um, yeah, again, I may be just, uh, just saying... Just maybe I'm inducing a little bit of a reaction. Uh, Fernando says, yeah, shots being fired. He knows what he's doing. He, he's, that's his job. He's a commentator. That's what he does. He gets he gets the crowd alive. But I tell you what, if you was a fish, Oaks, you'd have that hook so far down your throat, you'd be in the boat and you'd be supper on the barbecue tonight. You could not a bit any quicker. I love it. Of course not. <laughs> I mean, listen, it would be bad content if we all just sat up here and had the same opinion on every game. Well, no, not if we're all right and we're all betting. That's what our job is. Our job is not to debate and give out good, uh, oh, well, that was good, interesting conversation. No, we're giving out winners. I just want to put it out there. This is the first time all season I'm going to bet against Real Madrid. I'm just putting it out there as well. Uh, Yeah, listen, you can put out what you like, but I know I'll be hearing from you again if you're right. If you're right, <laughs> next Thursday, you'll be bringing it up again. Let's have a little look at the official picks. El Clasico already kicking off here, and we're 48 hours away from the game. Barcelona and both teams to score at plus 275. I've got something for you here. Madrid and both teams to score at plus 375. Madrid, draw no bet, plus 103. There is a one unit going on at plus 375, a one unit going on the plus 275, if you don't think there's a clean sheet and you think there's a winner, you could effectively bet both of them and make either $75 uh, or 75 cents in the dollar or $1, or one unit 75. Jude Bellingham, anytime scorer, plus 210 is another added bet for Klaus. Uh, have you got any more for me or have you just stuck with the team total? Over, oh, team total uh, over one and a half at plus 108 as well hey, as the draw, one. no bet. Is, uh, is there any more? Yeah, here we go. Uh, Jude Bellingham. To shoot or assist. I'm learning. I'm learning uh, just as you are, Oaks, because it's Bellingham, not Bellingham. Okay? All right. Well, you don't care. You'd say whatever you want. You can (laughs) call him. If he scores, if he scores and you're cashing. I'll get Celta right at some point. So you've already just got it right. You've uh, learned. Name right. (laughs) Bellingham, and you just got Celta. You didn't even realize. You just got it right, 100%. Love that, love that. End of the uh, El Clasico and English.